Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. David Chow. I direct the Center for Asian American Christianity. And uh, greetings. My name is Dr. Easton Law. I'm the Assistant Director for Academic Programs at the Overseas Ministry Study Center. And uh, we're just delighted to be able to chat with you a little bit about the upcoming 2023 Asian American Theology Conference that's hosted every year by the Center for Asian American Christianity. And uh, OMSC, the Overseas Ministry Study Center, is simply delighted to be able to, to co-sponsor this, this gathering with, with David and his team. And as we um, begin this conversation, I think there's a really important question that's on everyone's minds and hearts as they consider why is this conference important? Why should we set aside the time to, to engage uh, questions of multiple belongings and trans-Pacific Christianity, right? And so first question I want to explore together is, you know, why? Why should Asian American Christians, why should Asian American faith leaders care about this conversation that we are seeking to convene? That's a that's a great question, Easton. Let me let me take a stab at it. I recall, I believe in Christianity today, back in the 90s, Helen Lee wrote an essay that got widely circulated called The Silent Exodus. And it described the silent exodus of second generation Asian American ministry leaders from their, um, whether Chinese heritage, Korean heritage, or first generation immigrant churches. That phenomena still continues 30 years later. And to understand our Asian immigrant, our second gen Asian churches, our multi ethnic uh, churches that have large numbers of Asian American staff and congregants. We need to understand migration, migration from Asia to the U.S. post-1965 and how that legislation and this history of migration slash immigration directly impacts congregational life, even Asian American campus ministries, as well as our own spiritual formation and identity formation. So I think if a pastor wants to know their congregation, if a campus staff worker, if a ministry leader wants to understand that the, the community that they serve, whether as first gen, 1.5, second gen, third gen, then they need to have a historical and theological framework for understanding migration and Christian faith. That's that's my sense, Easton. What about you? What, what's your response to this question? I resonate a lot with what you've shared, David. As a um, second generation Chinese American Christian um, raised in a very large uh, Chinese church. I, I have vivid memories of uh, multiple congregations with multiple languages being spoken. I myself part of the English speaking youth group ministry. And it's tempting for, I think, pastors and church leaders to look at this diversity and say, well, you know, the diversity is there, that's fine. But what really matters is Christ. Uh, Christ first, as long as we focus on Christ, that's all that matters. But I think um, that the reality is Christ cares about our whole selves, mm. right? Um, and within that, we have uh, stories. We have uh, stories and, and, and ancestries and generations of stories that's, that span not just experiences in the United States, but also experiences in, in our, our ancestral homelands. And I think church leaders and pastors need to have, like you said, a theological um, as well as a, as, as a, a historical understanding of the the contingencies that have created Asian America uh, experiences, Asian American experiences as we have them today. That is that that is how we minister to a deeper a sense of uh, a person's um, feelings and struggles um, beyond uh, perhaps a more simplistic um, um, approach. Yep, absolutely. 